going to go ahead and replace this lock. Like we're speeding it up. Right. <laughs> Fast forward. And that's normal speed. Ta da! <laughs> Roll. So here we are installing the new lock onto the bathroom door. Starting with the uh, <coughs> tongue, which keeps the door closed. Putting in a couple of wood screws. Hold it in place. We want to make sure that it's flush with the door. It is a lockable one. We will put the locking part in. I'll have to push the tongue in to get it to engage. The interior part has to be lined in such a way that it's going to go in. We try the lock part. Inserting a couple of machine screws. Have like a guide system to them. So it's a little hit and miss. As you can see, it can be a little tight. Okay, I'm on. So now we just tighten those up once we've had them started into their pilot. I'll use my foot to hold the door so I can use both hands. The toe of my foot will hold the door in place. And I'll tighten the screw all the way down. I'm not over tightening it, tightening it because we don't want to strip it out. I have some resistance, so I'm going to have to loosen the screws and reset this assembly so that it doesn't have any resistance. Now there's no resistance. Now the tongue doesn't match up with the other one, so we're going to have to take this striker plate and move it forward just a little bit to get it to like align into there. Okay, the issue here is this striker plate being too far back and the tongue doesn't go in. It's hitting here. So I need to relocate this plate to a forward position about two millimeters forward, about a millimeter and a half. We have a couple of different issues to deal with. One is this wood that's here. So I'm going to simply take a razor knife and by using a rocking motion, I'm going to cut into this wood to get that little piece of wood out of the way so that the striker plate can seat. Since the razor blade is so accurate, it cuts exact precise, I can just go ahead and take out that sliver without having to actually use a whole hammer and chisel. And this is all I'm doing is just taking out just enough meat to go ahead and bring that striker plate forward. Second issue I'm going to have is these holes that are already pre-done there. Those holes will always try to bring the striker plate back into its, into its original position. So I'm going to take these chopsticks, put them into the hole, tap them in a little bit, snap them off, and that gives me a new location for the screw, and it won't try to go back into its old position. As you can see, that one didn't work out too well, so let's try another one. We'll actually cut the stick shorter to get more penetration, and see if we can't snap that off clean. Now I have a nice new surface to work with. I'm going to try my striker plate in my new position. Okay, now that we've reset this striker plate forward about a millimeter and a half, we're going to test this concept again and see if we have it where we want it. Perfect. Mission accomplished.